My favorite external hard drive. Ever got any I.O. errors? I know how to fix them. Let's get started. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're well. My name is Michael and I'm back with more practical data solutions. And I know it feels really bad if you experience this device I.O. error on your favorite external hard drive. And it's terrible, especially when you copy a big amount of data and that interrupts the process. But as every problem, there's a cause, there's a solution, and we value your time really a lot. That's why we're providing you with the easiest and fastest solutions on how to fix your troubles. Doesn't that deserve a sub? Well, I guess so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to get more of our easy to follow tutorials. Let's bring the common sense in. Before troubleshooting anything, we need to find the root cause. So why do we ever get to have these device I.O. prompts? Let's talk about that. The input-output device error occurs when your Windows loses its ability to perform any output or input action, such as copying or reading the data while you're trying to access the drive or your disk. It can happen to any type of device or media that is meant to do input or output activity. You can find out you're actually in trouble by seeing any of these messages. Request could not be performed because of an I.O. device error, or only part of a read process memory request was completed, or only part of a write process memory request was completed, or sometimes it's I.O. error 21, or I.O. error 32, or the similar I.O. error plus any of the many codes that your Windows is going to detect. The reasons could be many. Could be a trouble driver, or could be that you have wrongly plugged the USB port or have partially plugged the USB port or probably it has some sort of... How do I plug that in? Yeah, like that. Probably it might have loose connection or there's some sort of surface trouble on your HDD or SSD or something else. Right, we know now the reasons, so let's talk about the solution. Easiest thing to do get your external hard drive and try to hook it onto another computer. If you have another PC or laptop around, of course, connecting your external hard drive to it is the first thing we might do. Try to connect your USB drive into another available port if you don't have any other computers around. Or check for loose connections on both ends, you know, the computer side and your hard drive side. Or sometimes could be the USB cable, you know, you might have bent it too much or it's just broken, it happens. Number two, it's the operating system. Drivers, essential. Updating your driver is a common process for troubleshooting. If any of these devices are misbehaving, could be the driver. Sometimes, could be the reason for messages like, there are no media in the specified device, or if your USB is not showing up in Windows, or if you get the message, the request could not be performed because of an IO device error. Yes, exactly, we could talk about a driver issue. So let me guide you on how we can easily fix that. First step, connect your USB flash drive or external hard drive to the PC. Right click on this PC and choose Manage. Then we navigate to Device Manager and we expand the Disk Drives section. Right click on the problematic USB device and click on Update Driver and let Windows do the rest of the magic because Windows 8 and Windows 10 have this automatic process of searching throughout the Microsoft database for drivers and if you're lucky, you're going to get a newer version. If not, we go to our manufacturer's website so you check for who has designed this cage or USB external hard drive and look for updated drivers. Most of the time, the automatic driver search is going to do fine Wait for the driver to be updated, reboot the computer just in case, and afterwards, check whether you're going to experience that again. Next method relies on check disk, and we've already talked about how to perform a check disk, but for those of you who missed that episode, well, besides subscribing and checking out all our previous reviews, let's do a quick recap. Now, again, open your command prompt, type chkdsk, and now, be careful. We need to type slash f, slash r, and slash x. These three parameters are going to guarantee that, first of all, your disk is going to be in read-only mode, and secondly, all the possible troubles are going to be repaired. Well, could be that in some situations during check this, some of the data is going to be marked as unreadable, therefore you're gonna need to recover parts of that. Or could be that 
if any of those four solutions have worked for you, again, some of the data is going to be missing. And this is exactly where we bring Recover It into the game. You're going to be amazed by hearing that Recover It Data Recovery is one of the most suggested powerful hard drive and data recovery programs. You can easily recover lost data from external drives in a few steps. Let's open the app first and then we choose the device where we have some data to be recovered. Click the start button and the scanning process is going to begin. In the end, after everything is finished, check all of these files that need to be recovered. Select the destination folder where you want all these recovered files to be appearing and voila, all your previously lost data is now safe and sound. That was fast and easy, wasn't it? I really hope that after applying all of these methods, or at least one of them, you're no longer experiencing this hard drive I.O. error. And if that tutorial has helped you, I think it makes sense to subscribe because these or some of our previous episodes could come handy at any point of time for recovering your precious information. Um, for any questions and comments, we're keeping an eye on the section below. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you around for the last few minutes and for more practical data solutions, stay tuned for our next episode. I'm Michael and I'm looking forward to see you again. Bye! Mm -hmm.